Five years ago, uh, a man walked into my office with a uh, check for $2,000 and uh, asked me if I would accept it on behalf of uh, a rock and roll band in uh, New York City uh, called the All-American Rejects. And uh, funny name for a band. But uh, they, just public they just produced a uh, smash hit song called uh, Dirty Little Secrets. And they'd asked this man if uh, they could use his uh, post-secret postcards, deep, dark, intimate secrets that had been posted on the web as the backdrop for their video. And uh, it seemed like an odd combination and connection, but uh, as a nonprofit receiving 100% of its funding from uh, the, the donations of uh, uh, our supporters, we were glad to receive it, and it began a five-year-long friendship and relationship that has uh, uh, just grown and, and blossomed well beyond either his or my imagination back in 2005. Uh, not too long ago, uh, we uh, approached uh, uh, this man and asked him if he would be willing to run uh, some support on a campaign for the uh, Chase Giving Contest that uh, we are the recipients of today. And uh, he and his community responded overwhelmingly and uh, delivered over 130,000 votes uh, between January and June for suicide prevention. Just a remarkable, remarkable, uh, dedicated community of caring people. Uh, and he's got a very special story to tell about that community. Um, and is with my greatest fondness and uh, personal friendship and gratitude uh, that I introduce to you, Frank Warren, the most trusted stranger in America. Thank you, Reese, and, and thanks to everybody who's taken the time to be out here in the audience, showing your support, speaking, sharing your wisdom and your commitment to this important issue of suicide. I think everybody who's here probably has a story they can share about this issue that's affected so many of us, with either a friend or a family member. I know I have, I have my story but I'm not going to share that with you today. Instead, I want to take this occasion to talk about this day of celebration, this day of hope that the Kristen Brooks Hope Center is making possible, that Chase Bank is making possible, that I Am Alive is making possible. My part in this journey, my story began five years ago when I started a website called Post Secret where I invited strangers from around the world to mail in a secret they'd never told a soul on a postcard. And before I knew it, I had hundreds, thousands, now I have hundreds of thousands of these very personal secrets that can be funny, that can be sexual, that can be hopeful, or very heavy. One example, one of my favorites, is the postcard that was made out of a Starbucks cup and mailed to me, and the person had confessed on the Starbucks cup I serve decaf to customers who are rude to me. <laughs> Not too long ago, I got this postcard, and we blew it up right here. It's a postcard with a secret on it that reads, I have lived in San Francisco since I was young. I'm illegal, and I'm not wanted here. I don't belong anywhere. This summer, I plan to jump off the Golden Gate Bridge. I posted this secret on the Post Secret website that's been visited by over 300 million people. And in one week, a visitor to the website created a Facebook page inviting people to show hope and support to this one tortured person who confessed this secret about suicide. And in that one week, we had 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000 people go to Facebook and join this page expressing the concern they had for the anonymous person who shared this secret so honestly. And so as we look around here today, we might hope that we would have more people here with us. But just know that online there's this, this latent community, there's this huge constituency of people who've been touched by the issue of suicide. And for those of us who can come up and share our story, it inspires other people to tell their story, and tell their story, and tell their story, until our issue can no longer be ignored. And that brings me to the most hopeful part of this whole day, and 
It's an idea called I'm Alive. And what has me so excited about I'm Alive is how it takes the best of what's been working about Hopeline, this telephone hotline that I volunteered on myself, taking calls from people in that, that moment of desperation, reaching out for hope and help. And in the history of Hopeline, it's helped 300, 3, 3 million people, 4 million people and counting. And so what we hope that this seed funding from Chase Bank will allow us to do is to take everything that's working about Hopeline and bring it to the web, offering for the first time ever peer-to-peer -peer crisis intervention counseling for free, manned by volunteers, focused on anybody who has an internet connection, focused on people who are more comfortable texting than picking up a phone. It's about time. It's about time we reach out to this new kind of community using the kind of technology that's, that's becoming alive and most important, in, not just in this country, but around the world. I want to end by sharing this postcard that arrived not too long ago. There's not a, a pretty picture on it. There's not a drawing or a photograph. There's just a simple sentiment that the person wrote out with a thick marker. And it says, July 19th, celebrating three years since I didn't kill myself. I want to thank you all for being here on this important day. It's not just celebrating a win for a $100,000 check, but it's also celebrating the start of I'm Alive, which I hope will go on to help millions of people anonymously through volunteers, just like Hopeline has done for over 10 years now. Thank you.